Aloha and welcome back to Gibbous, a Cthulhu adventure. We just <clears throat> got our kitten, Kitty, to talk. That's Kitty, my uh, kitty. Yeah, I know, not the most imaginative name. Totally understandable. Really? Yes, really. If I were called Buzz, I'd be reluctant to get creative when naming anyone, too. Touché, pussycat. I forgot something. <clears throat> okay. Here we go again. I'd say she looks cute, but she's within earshot. Stop. That's kitty. Totally. Really? Yes. Too it's an embarrassing baby picture. Move on. It's an embarrassing. Okay, she's she's only got the the one thing to say. <clears throat> They're not toys, okay? I don't play with them. Well, I don't like this new situation at all. Nah, I don't need it. What's left of my once impressive action figure collection? I guess I'm growing or something. Please don't drag me into your immaturity. Completely useless right now. Scenic Transylvania. That's where my roots are. Man, I hope I get to visit someday. <sighs> okay, I've got to get my head back in the game. Yeah, yeah, pretty. Let's move on. Someday soon, I hope. That's Ron Dilbert. He's really grumpy. Never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. Is that a joke? <clears throat> My tablet. It's been charging for two days now. Dead as... well, dead. I don't think I'll bother her about it. No use. It's dead. It's our oven. I'm deathly afraid of it. Long story. Look, I'm afraid to touch the thing. I have this long-running fear of leaving the gas on, and then the dorm explodes, and I'm not even slowly walking away from it. I just stand there in tears. No. Hey, Kitty, think you can uh, open that oven for me real quick and, and take a peek inside? Sure thing, boss. As soon as I grow opposable thumbs, you're going to have to man up and do it yourself. Come on, Buzz. You can do it, dude. Uh, I can? Yeah, it's just fear. Stupid fear. Yes, and fear is the path to the dark <laughs> side. Fear leads to anger. Anger... Open the damn oven, Kerwin! Yeah, yes, yep. I did it! Hey, and there's Lemon's key. Oh, and there's a cookie in here. A suspicious one. Uh, no. I think I'll take it, you know, for sustenance. Ugh, I would not recommend you eat that. I'll take it either way. Oh. What? <clears throat> oh, cool. That's our tiny fridge. It's usually either full of Lemon's dubious cooking, or completely empty. Who's Lemon? Nah, I can open it myself. Then open it. Hey, it's not completely empty. Doctor. It's a can of Dr. Fisher. Produced exclusively with Fishmetheria water. That ensures my lips will never go anywhere near it. I prefer Poopsie. Ew. 
She's not into sodas. Gonna grab this. Make it soda. It's our one and only treasured lighter. Oh, goody. Well, lemon's lighter. I'm kind of afraid of working the stove or oven. Who the fuck is lemon? Get it yourself. You're the one with opposable thumbs. Gonna grab this for a while. That's been there since Lemon left for that esoteric retreat. Uh, I'm frankly afraid to touch it. Whatever was in it has probably grown more powerful with time. Not on your life, buddy. I got my fill of suspicious sweets. Beyond this impenetrable portal adorned with god-awful decorations lies Lemon's Shangri-La. He's such a hippie, it hurts me mostly. Ah, okay, it's a he. I can squeeze under doors. Lemon knows that. He made this door particularly unsqueezable under, remember? Oh yeah, he did do that. Lemon's locked the door when he left for that esoteric retreat, and of course he has no phone signal or internet. Great. Kitty, I'm a little stumped here. I have no idea what to do next. We're clearly in over our heads. Maybe we should reach out to someone who knows more about this black magic thing. Mm, you've got a point. Wait, how about my roommate, Lemon? He's my roommate too, remember? Yeah, he does know a lot of people. A lot of suspicious people. They're really into his homemade cookies, for some reason. Suspicious people <clears throat> is definitely who we're after. I've seen him write down names in this little notebook. Maybe we should look for it. Uh, he's away on that esoteric retreat thing, though. No way to reach him. We're gonna have to find a way to get inside his room. Cool. Oh, I can't see anything over here. Fine. Up. It's the dreaded Necronomicon. Very suspicious cookie. Effects remain to be determined. For some reason, I picked up this can of the Phallus Soda widely available. It's our one and only trusty lighter. It's the key to Lemon's domain of derelict degeneracy. Okay. Someone had a th Thoris. <coughs> the Thoris. I have a feeling somewhere inside this horribly over-decorated piece of furniture lies what we're looking for. My eyes, they water. All right, Kitty, I have a feeling the notebook we're looking for is somewhere inside this locked closet. I can't really think of a way to open it. Couldn't you just randomly combine some household items into a makeshift key or something? Uh, I'm sure I could, but I was thinking maybe you could shoulder this particular burden. Let's not make a habit of this. Ugh, this patchouli stink is giving me dizzy cells. Oh, here it is. I haven't done that since I was a kitten. Still got it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, that's gaudy. Hey, looks like there's something under this. Oh. Move it yourself, Buzz. What do you know? A pair of scissors. Oh, God. I think it's supposed to be a fertility idol. Kinda scary if you ask me. I would not sleep with that thing above my head, I'll tell you that. Primitive or not, I doubt Kitty appreciates art. Actually, I've been a little into cubism lately. Snob. Nah. <laughs> we thankfully have no need for it. 
It's one of those lick all 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 ukulele uh, tiny cute guitars. It's cute. I don't think she'd be inclined to play that thing. Oh no. My band days are long gone. It's a book Lemon left open. Well, let's see here. Page on the left says, a compass is a magnetized pin floating in a solution. It's not the 1700s anymore, Lemon. Jeez, what a Luddite. Page on the right says, invisible ink. Use lemon juice to write secret messages on paper. Only you will be able to then read them by bringing the paper close to a source of heat. Note, make that a source of mild heat, not open flame. Hmm. No need, I can read it myself. It's a book Lemon left open. Well, let's see here. Page on the left says, a compass is a magnetized pin floating in a solution. It's not the 1700s anymore, Lemon. Jeez, what a Luddite. Of all things whose purpose is to be lit up, this one scares me the least. Nah. <laughs> Patchouli, what else? Do I look like a lighter to you? I can't just snap my fingers and produce fire, unfortunately. Okay, so this is going to be empty. Uh, the pages are all blank. Yep. What am I missing here? Yay! Let's moderately heat this baby. Yes, it worked. Oh, lemon, one too many cheesy detective novels. All right, kitty. Now let's see this list here. Mm -hmm. Woo! I think I got it. How's VG for all your supernatural needs sound? And there's the address. We're practically neighbors. It's the best option we've got so far. Uh, there's something I'm not sure I mentioned before. This detective that was looking for the Necronomicon, Dawn, got kidnapped right in front of me. Oh, right. You've mentioned it. Let's go. But we've got to try and rescue him. <sighs> All right. Do you know who kidnapped him? Uh, I guess we have no lead yet. Lead? Sam Spade over here. You know how you humans always stereotype us as being selfish? Uh, sorry about that. Don't be, because in my case, that's exactly how it is. I'm sorry, but I could give a kitten's fluffy tail about your detective friend. My main worry right now is my own predicament. Why didn't you call the police or something? Oh, Dark Compete, only the most corrupt and despicable organization in town. Makes these cultists look like fuzzy bunnies nibbling on baby carrots by comparison. <clears throat> no, we're on our own. Interesting imagery. Anyway, your friend Don's on his own too. It's a catty cat world out there. How about we keep him as objective B, all right? Whatever makes me A works for me. Let's roll, Marlo. Okay. All right, kitty. Looks like we're on a quest together. Any cool battle cry like words before we embark on it? I'm a little hungry and I'm afraid my fur is going to get all matted in these filthy streets. Sorry, you were saying? I was thinking more like time for, you know, whatever adrenaline pumping music kids listen to these days. Time for Bossa Nova. Let's get on with it. Rare. <laughs> a weird looking kiddo in the middle of the street. I think I'd better talk to her. <sighs> I'm not scared or anything. I just don't... You you talk to her, okay? <laughs> hey, little girl. What are you doing in the street by yourself this late at night? Hey, big guy. What are you doing disturbing peaceful citizens for no good reason this late at night? Well, let me try that again. What's your name, kiddo? If you must know, it's Priscilla. Are you sure you don't mean Priscilla? Do I 
even look like the kind of person who can't correctly pronounce their own name? It's Priscilla! What's your name, Smarty Pants? Uh, Buzz. Buzz? My dad really loved his electric shaver. Ah! Made a new friend, plus five charisma, minus ten intimidation. Hey, I was just genuinely concerned. Well, don't be. Drop my fishy and that sign up there, and Grandma let me come out on the street and try to get it. But I can't reach it! All right, all right, settle down. Can't Grandma help you out? Grandma's been taking her bath for quite a while now. Grandma says we'll go to Fishmas soon. We're just waiting for this big bathtub we ordered to be delivered. Grandma can't go traveling without her new bathtub. All right, weird enough. Aren't your mom or dad around? Mom and dad moved to Fishmith last month. And we'll move there too. Soon. But not until we get my fishy! You know, this just feels wrong somehow. I'm a dark-haired little girl, standing in the middle of the street at night, holding a doll by the hand. Scared yet? Scared? Nope. A little bit creeped out by how irresponsible your grandma is, I'll give you that. <laughs> so, you're just, uh, standing there, huh? People tend to do that in this kind of game. Yeah, I always wondered about that. <laughs> I just like to watch them sitting there, clicking their little lives away. Okay. FYI, girl, not clicking my life away, because entertainment is a portion of your life. If you are not entertained, you are not doing anything right. Who has a fish doll? I think it's that little girl's fish doll. I can't reach it from down here. Hey, Kitty, how about you climb up and get that fishy for me? Well, you gotta ask yourself, Buzz. What do we stand to gain from me exerting myself in that manner? Uh, nothing for now, I guess. See? Don't anger me, feline. Come on, Buzz. You're embarrassing yourself. Don't you want to do it just to put a smile on that little girl's face? You mean that pale abomination? How about we have nothing to do with her or her face? How's that sound? Your heart is the tip of a glacier that was accidentally bitten off by a blind, evil old sea monster, Kitty. Don't try to flatter me. It won't work. That ominous tower belongs to the local waterworks. I wonder if they can pump water up that high. There's stock of a dozen people jumping off it. I guess you could call it popular. I could land that fall with my eyes closed. I just don't want to. No thanks, I'll stick around for now. If they're trying to keep people away from Fishmouth, it's working. I'd hate to have him do my taxes. Nah. <laughs> I can climb that thing, no problem. I just don't have a reason to. Not only do I have no use for it, it has no reason to exist. Nah. <laughs> You know, I've never crossed that bridge, and I got there several times. Ever notice how philosophical bridges are? People come, people go. Ugh, friggin' thoughts, go away. I could land that fall with my eyes closed. I just don't wanna. Nah, I need her around. I doubt a little elevation would alter my perspective on things. It used to be you'd absentmindedly open this door and the whole of Darkham would be flooded. Is that... is that water I hear lapping behind the wall? Kid A has no use for that walled archway. Oh, this is a dumb idea. Back then, door. Now, wall. Oh, okay. 
It's Kitty, my cat. She talks now. Your cat? Uh, just a figure of speech. She's just as grumpy as usual, but I guess it fits her. Why am I staring at her? Back to adventuring. Oh, cool. Kitty, why won't you help me get Basila's doll from up there? Do you really have to be unnecessarily mean? Look, Buzz, I'm a very goal-oriented cat. We need to find that VG person. That little girl's problem can wait. <sighs> I somehow feel you're wrong about this. Whatever. I gotta look at everything. Ugh, never could stand fish. How people can eat that is beyond me. We have bigger fish to fry, Buzz. I see what you did there. I like that glass right there between those monstrosities and me. It's the door to the fishery. We have bigger fish to fry, Buzz. I see what you did there. It's closed and locked. Man, that's one attractive dude. This picture of a male model, I feel like I need, I need to have it. Get it yourself, you can reach it. Uh, just to be clear, I'm not picking this up for personal use. Okay. Christopher Valiant Street. Never heard of him. Tiny Prince says his body was found headless on the street, so they named it after him. Charming oh. story. That's fantastic. Well, he can now quit while he's ahead. At least it brought things to a head. Nah. Christopher Valiant is an okay guy. There, happy? Thank you for your sacrifice, Christopher Valiant. Who ever Christopher Valiant is. You know, they're trying to make her creepy, but eh, she's kind of cute. Yo, oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Darkham is particularly horrid this time of year. Maybe Mom should have stayed in Romania. No time for sightseeing. I just have to walk down the stairs to go back to it. Well, at least it's not Fishmouth. Do I really like it here? You never really stop and think about it. I really need to get out of this place permanently. No time for sightseeing. Well, if it isn't stinky, crumbling, wretched, repulsive old Darkham. The place I call home. I guess human beings will adapt to anything. Eh, nah. No time for sightseeing. That's Steve, the gargoyle. We go way back. He's down with the vegetation, son. Nah. <laughs> He's into the herbs, bro. He's all about them weeds. They wouldn't like each other. Steve is the silent type. Stain's cool. I thought I was making such a statement. Or was I trying to be ironic and hip? can't remember. Nah. <laughs> Why am I staring at this thing? I've got important things to attend to. There's something very wrong with me. <laughs> I seem to be fascinated by this column. I'm trapped, frozen in place by the sudden realization of how beautiful this expression of aesthetic triumph and architectural... Get a move on, Kerwin. Right away. Yeah, it's gosh darn beautiful. Let's move on. 
Its only use is keeping the building from crashing down on us. Mr. Orne really likes his library covered in spiky vegetation. I guess it does hide some of the more unfortunate architectural choices. But no point in making her climb them. If I wanted to go up there, I think I'd just use the staircase. I don't. I've got to see his input. A very intriguing looking book. Maybe I should take a closer look. A very convenient treatise on the order voodoo magic ingredients should be used in. Whoa, convenient to say the least. Mental notes, sometimes examining items several times really pays off. Oh wait, I could actually pick that one up? Oh, shit. Amazingly, none of the maroon books look damaged, die-hard little... They're the last thing I need at the moment. She's not into books. Says you. That hogwash is the last thing I need right now. Of course, the hideous thing survives the deflagration. I don't know why I'm looking at it again. I hate that thing. She cares nothing for art. You call that art? You have a point. Some of the most fascinating books I've ever read, I personally and lovingly arranged them all in one book rack. All gone. Such a loss. <clears throat> She's not into books. Says you. Okay, well, I didn't expect to uh, find that. I don't think I know what I'm looking for. Okay. Shit. That was incidental. I actually didn't expect to do that. Okay. He's creepier than that child was. Void Smoker Alley. Never heard of him. Uh, let's check out the tiny print. Apparently, this guy was a struggling artist that aged naturally while his portrait stayed the same. What a lousy demonic deal. <laughs> Could have been worse. Not sure how exactly, but it could have. Here's the smoke in the void. <sighs> Thanks for being a good dude, Void Smoker. I think here's the aging like a fine wine, Void Smoker. I think these were um, uh, um, Kickstarter backers or something like that. That's Jeremiah Orne, Old Man Orne's ancestor. He's practically the father of the Miskatonic Library. Statues are a new concept to Kitty, but she still doesn't look impressed. Thanks for the post-generational job opportunity, Jerry. Alright. Uh, we're gonna end this here because... Eh, no. I'm gonna talk to her. Nope. Nope. No, conversations with people will go a long time. So let's actually look at the moon. Well, it's uh, the moon. That's pretty much it. Nah. Nah. They say the guy in charge is a real joker. <laughs> ah. I hear they've been having a bat problem over there. Darkum Asylum. Nah. Nah. Alright. Uh, that's it for this episode, folks. I will catch you all in the next one. Um, until then, have fun, be safe, and aloha.